Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once more to Moshi Monsters. Peppo is feeling irresponsible. I thought that's an irresponsible, irrepressible. Look at his face. We're now in 2024 and I've been playing this game since 2008. It has been 16 years and I still have never finished the missions. Are these in three acts? Goodness me, there's so much lore. Here we are, season three, episode one, part one, line two, first three. Hello, pop it. Is there an epic? I'm looking for epics. I will not miss a single one. If I miss an epic, the video ends. Careful, my dread. There we go. It is. I am a super moshi. You received this Valentine's Day card. Well, don't rub it in. Tiamo is red, Snookums is blue. Both of my eyes are fixed firmly on you. Hello, fellow. We've not spoken in ages. How are you doing? I've met your brother. Oh. Oh, hello. How many of you are there? And why weren't you in the Smash or Pass? Can you help with this anonymous Valentine's card? Why would you ever send an anonymous Valentine's card? That's like, are you that scared of rejection? Then just don't do it. From the cosmic size of Valentine, it could be any of these monsters. You can click to cross other monsters. Well, easy enough. They said they have two eyes, so it's not Rory. I, I, I'm not even allowed to. I'm too, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm three steps ahead. Someone who is well-traveled might be able to help, like Buster Bumble Chops. Or, or a Poppet, or a Poppet. Good, I don't like Buster. Poppet is in the Gumbala jungle. When you see them, please give them my friendship card. So you've got a secret lover, and now you're friend zoning the one you had on the side. I, I, I'm seeing how this... Poppet's a player. Hello, Poppet. Gabby! Why are you out of my zoo? I need to take a closer look. It's four lines of text, love. Can't we finish my research while I examine the letter? But I already know the answer. Now I'm glad you're being friend zoned. Check out my new Monstergram app. I'm using it to take photos of wild frogs. Can I use cow yet? I still can't use it. Gotcha. 15 likes. Let's go. Oh, there's another one. Steve Irwin, who? Oh, a rare blue frog. He's missing his twin. Where can his twin be? There we go. He was in the drums. I, I knew that. I, yeah, I, I knew that. It's a bit hard to see if they're rare and blue, if it's in black and white. Maybe monsters are colorblind. Okay, so the paragraph mentions both. Oh, I figured that out 10 minutes ago, pop it. I know I'm 23 years old, but... Damn it! Let's cross you off. And let's cross you off. Let's be real, statistically, it's not going to be Mustachio. I can't cross anyone else off. You found a piece of hair? Talk to a poppet at the observatory. I missed an epic. Ah, if I miss an epic, the video ends. I'm sorry, guys. I lied to you. Previously, we got a Valentine's card. If this hair is not Suey and it's not Bubba, I'm hoping it's Mustachio and it's a plot twist. That the poppet pulls off their mask and it's Frau Now Brown Cow. Hey, up, dog. Can you tell me anything about this piece of hair? Please don't eat it, please don't eat it, please don't eat it. I'm in the middle of researching some Moshling constellations. To guess which Moshling is in the constellation. Well, that's Lady Me Alfred. I'm, I'm no noob at Moshy Monsters. I know my Moshlings. That is Shishi. I don't even need to look at the options. That is Stanley. Of course it is. Looks like you got them all easily. <gasps> Epic. It's okay. It's back on. I'm not quite done yet. I'm just too good. I can play with Space Glen. Hello, Space Glen. Avoid the meteorites and eat the snacks. Nom, nom, nom. It sounds like he enjoyed that. This reminds me of Mario Kart. We did it! You are good at this game and probably other games too. What does that mean? That seems like it's uh, alluding to something. It came from a tail? Oh, he's got no tail and no hair. He's a pot of noodles. He's an offender. He's just ugly. So you got it from a moshling. You got it from a pet. You got a Valentine's card from one of your pets. My dog. That has never sent me a Valentine card. I, no one sent me a Valentine card. So in this part, we're meant to get a free mosh link. Are we going to discover who the Valentine is? And then we're going to put them in our zoo. Are we going to be a homewrecker? I'm mounting. It's so hot. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm so hot. I can't think straight. A hat would certainly give me some shade. Not about a hat, but I found a sign. Oh, and a man. Good eye on Baz Bona. Go out, you traveling. I'm, I'm flying. Can I have your hat? I'm pretty attached to my hat, but my shop's got plenty. If you do me a favour, I can help you with the hat. The storm came by and threw my sign into three bits. Can I just buy one? I have 10,000 rock. I could buy one. How did you get it in her hole? I'm happy to pay for a hat. 
I don't mind. The side is too high to reach. You can fly! What if I keep punching the seagull? We, we... No, just more animal abuse. Awesome. Perfect. It's a bit off center, but you know. And now I just need to get to Gale. Oh, epic! A feather. I'm going to make you sneeze. I don't know how I reached. But it's okay. We got it. And now I get a hat. Oh, that's a lovely hat. I feel much better with a hat. Good, good. You know, there was a, a building you could stand under. Have you seen any new monsters on Blurg Beach recently? I saw a monster wearing green. Oh, it's the fox fella. What does the fox say? Yeah. That would have been hilarious if you got a Valentine's card from a pot of noodles. Oh, the friendship card was for him. So you said a Valentine's card anonymously and you still got rejected. Who wants to be my friend? Yeah, that's best friend, by the way, not not boyfriend. Not not boyfriend forever. That would be husband. I like that. That was a return to form of season one where you were just helping someone else. I was expecting a twist. I didn't get it. Well, I get it now in Choco Dial Blues. Hello. Have you heard about the chocolate eggs? There's no more left. No, not Billy Bonker. We've got to investigate the chocolate factory. I know it says refinery, a factory. It's a factory. There's going to be a Billy Bonker. Did he say to bring back a chocolate egg? It's, I'm being professional here. There's the entrance. Oh, there's an area that says keep out. Well, why not? The chocolate factory is off limits. Even if there is super mushy, why are you depressed? I'm so hungry. It's lunchtime and I left my sandwiches at home. There's uh, luckily a few little ingredients around. Is that Rory Scroll? Uh, so I've got cheese and tiger bread and chocolate and beetroot. Haha, <laughs> beetroot. Bye! I'm still missing an ingredient. But I, I don't know what it could be. Oh, it was a pickle. The chocolate stopped flowing. How are we going to fix this? Let's push all the buttons. Gear there, which we can pop onto this valve. Easy as that. That valve is also missing a wheel. Luckily, I got it there. Oh, and another one. I would not put it past Klong for this not to be chocolate, but for it to be poo. And we poison Monstro City with the poo. Oh, yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. It's poo. You fell straight into my trap. Well, I was hungry. No, oh, I missed it again. How are you? How are you? Eggs. I see eggs. Oh, they trapped me in the egg. I am an egg. Oh, I have a little glumsy capture it. What did this super mushy doing inside an egg and malt? I was investigating the shortage of chocolate eggs. I got overpowered somehow by the glumps. I see. That is unfortunate. Escape? That ought to be trouble. But then again, I hate working with the glumps. You're working with the... Never smile at an alligator. Tell you what. I like a monster who likes the chocolate. If you show good knowledge of the chocolate, I can help you. No. What if a vegan played this game in 2013? How would they know? The glump guard will need to be distracted somehow. Let's make a chocolate glump. The pillar is starting up. It will inject chocolate in low mode. I do not want to be chocolate. Right, let's just get all the eggs. We can use to distract the glump because we're running out of time. Chocolate eggs? I shouldn't really. Oh, he's getting big. He's a big boy. The enemy wasn't clonk, it was diabetes the whole time. I can smell the chocolate. You are in a chocolate factory, mate. Get me out of here, please. I'm trying to be healthy. Oh, we, we, we died. We just died in mushy monsters. That's dark. Oh, yes, let's eat. We eating me, eating me. This is like The Walking Dead when we play as Clementine. Sorry, spoilers. That was a lucky X game. Now I just wish you died. I don't know, thank me, super mushy. I couldn't let you get chocolated. It would have been a waste of good chocolate. I need to tell Biggie Diddles the third about what happened. Who's Biggie Diddles? Is that Biggie Diddles? Surely not. Surely a crocodile. No. Uh, we have a bandit cowboy crocodile. At least I get to eat some ruin doing chocolate. Yeehaw! Bonjour. Monster Diddles. Oh, Biggie Diddles, it's the crocodile. I. Whoa. A painting of a flower with a star crystal? Is that Fango? Star in there. Square in there. Triangle in there. Circle in there. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
It's a key. The key will open something. Oh, <gasps> bird. Oh, no. He's awake. He's going to snitch. Oh, he's asleep again. He's okay. Oh, he's woken up. Uh, I think we found the eggs. Dinky Diggles is holding all the chocolate eggs for himself. Maybe he's just doing a Jamie Oliver. And just like Jamie Oliver, he must be defeated. Well, where am I paying your filthy critters for? Go and find Super Marshy. Is he working with Clonk or is he just a fat man? Go on, distract him for me. Hot diggity, if it isn't Moon Sir Marcel. What happened to you, buddy? You better have a mighty fine explanation. You boobed? Boob? Boobs are in Moshy Monsters. I shall have fun molding you into a pretty little chocolate statue for my office. What? Moshy Diddles preferred. You can't. I have ideas for new chocolate egg flavors. That is silkworm flavor. Okay, that's good. Now what can I do? Can I hit that big red button? There we go, perfect. And go. Yes! What in the name? Get me out of this at once! Nuh uh. Say please. You are hoarding all the chocolate eggs to yourself. No, you are a chocolate egg because you are what you eat. You're a greedy chocodile. You need to share them with all monsters. Sharing is caring. I will make sure all the monsters of Monster City can enjoy the eggs again. Maybe there can be some sort of business deal. Business deal. That's what I'm talking about. Can I come with you? Wait, are we not going to make a business deal? This guy's rich. Make a business deal. But I want to make a bit. I want to make a business deal. So I've got this French fella. This French psychopath. Maybe we really did defeat Clonk last time because it just seems like there's rogue glumps. Okay, we defeated Big Chief's small silly willy. We defeated Sweet Tooth. We shot Dr. Strange Glove down. But the mastermind in the chair escaped. Maybe he's behind the Guggen heist? We have a small problem. Don't call me small. The Guggenheim has gone missing. What, the whole museum? Go to Ula Lane and see Scrumpy, the greatest detective. <coughs> second, second best. Do you remember with that Valentine's card? Yeah. Hello. What accent? I've done Texan. I've done French. Italiano. The name is Grumpy, you see. No, God, please, no. I'm the lead detective on this case. This is New York. No, I'm mafia, man. Where's the spaghetti? And it looks like we got ourselves a heist here. A Guggen heist. If you find any clues, let me know. I'm going to go and find five. Five. I told you. See, I knew you were going to say that because I'm a good detective. And there's an epic. Call me Sherlock. Sherlock. Call me Sherlock. Roams. Because I, I roam around. I can't actually roam around. Call me Sherlock. Moans because I make your must start from the Hmm <laughs> Hmm Something here doesn't belong <gasps> Raffles <gasps> Don't don't escape He escaped That Rufian Although it can't be him really You don't think the cat stole an entire building? What gives you that intuition? When Raffles steals something, he always puts it back. So he's not a stealer. He's a he's a borrower. Simon Grouse throwing an art party next week. Oh, great. His part is always going so well. And there's still five more clues. That, that, that wasn't a clue. Like a witness. Okay, fine. We've got a painting. Is that a clue? Yes. Lock box. The box is locked. <laughs> Sherlock fucking Holmes. I love how they're named, like... Even more stolen art. I'm not going to Mona, but I refuse to work with this man, Elder Fairy. I, 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 re I refuse. The unveiling of my masterpiece will be at 6 p.m. sharp. Hello. You always flirt with me, and I, I, I don't like it. The time has come. Oh. What could it be? You may go blind from looking at it. Was it that bad? Yeah, it, it is that bad. It's like Raffles didn't come in. Why would he? You know that masterpiece isn't made of rocks? It's not? It's a fake! Oh. Oh, wow. Is it bad? I think it looks better. I'm going back to my bin. I live in a funky dust... Achoo! Party ruined. There was three people here, mate. Raffles won't go after a fake statue. Maybe if you fought him into thinking you were a statue... 
But I bounce. Why can't you be the statue? You're more replaceable. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. He just got a jump scare of his life. <laughs> I'm kind of curious who we're going to get. Are we going to get Misty? Are we going to get Raffles? Are, are we going to get this stupid piece of shit? What are we doing at the scene of the crime? I'll be bad cop. You just, you don't play any cop, okay? You just leave. I was trying to steal the Guggenheim, but someone got to it first. And I got trapped under those giant mittens. A likely story. Well, he, well, he was under them. You also ruled him out as a suspect straight away. I'm a master lock picker. You can open up the box. Hand over the box. If he runs away, I'm going to step on someone. Ford, head to Krabby Cove, where all your dreams come true. This looks like a trap. You are free to go, Raffles. For now. The Guggenheim. It's a shell. Oh. Was that a crab? I believe it was a lobster. Who are you? Who are you? Why did you steal the Guggenheim? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal it. It's got it away because it outgrew this home. And I found this one, but it's not quite right. Could you help me decorate it? Oh great, another tourist. I'm not a tourist, because I'm here for employment. Which The definition of tourism is going somewhere not for employment. I'll tell you what, if you can tell us the correct punchlines to our jokes, we'll let you have our treasures. I'm not very funny. Why did the crab cross the road? To get to the other tide. Why did the crab get arrested? Because he wasn't peeling very well. Because, no, because he pinched something. He would pinch, yes. Yes, yes. I'm so funny. You could have called them pinch lines. The picture in Krabby Cove was of it decorated like that. What the heck? Is there time travel in Moshi Monsters? And why are you obsessed with having a building as, as your back? Hello? Ah, I told you I had nothing to do with the Guggen heist. You're a master slew super Moshi. Thank you. Don't acknowledge this other fella. Can I join you on your adventures? Yes, it's Raffles. Yes, please don't steal my zoo. No one was talking to you. We found the outside of the building. What about the rest of it? And in the time it's taken for us to do those three missions, we are ready to check to see if we have gotten Gurgle. I've been trying to get Gurgle for months. I just need a red dragon fruit. Please, please, please. No, blue. Oh, I've had so many, I've had black, I've had yellow, I've had pink, I've had orange, I've had green. Now I've got blue. If I get Gurgle, almost got three pages completed. I keep forgetting we've got three floors, and this top floor is looking awful. I've got my trophies, and that's it. So let's put some windows on, and a door on, and pizza. Wow, that looks horrible. <laughs> I love it. Sadly, that is all I have time for today. I don't have as much time as I'd like, but we can gamble. Let's, let's, we're going to do a bit of gambling. Let's take a chance. Why would you ever settle for 40%? Statistically, you're going to do better. See? I got two rocks. Come on, come on, come on, come to daddy, come to daddy. What do you mean? Is it because I call myself daddy? Yes! Yes, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at you. Look at me. I'm better than you in every single way. And there's nothing you can do about it. You have arms? Well, I can fly. You have glasses? Ugh.